this is Telegram TV and welcome back to another review on the Arrow Season 8 Episode 7. So last week through we saw when we saw Arrow basically uh, go to an alternate universe where saw Quinterbeck still alive after season six and he comes to accept the fact that uh, the monitor is actually a good guy. So let's get into this one. Let's go. So this episode starts off with a monologue from Oliver Queen, which basically was the season one episode one opening. And I thought this was quite a unique touch, as basically he was saying that the end of the story should start at the beginning. And I thought this was a very nice touch to what it actually means in the like end of the episode. And yeah, I'll go with it. it is a perfect way. This episode was a um, weird but goodish way. So we start off with um, all uh, got the uh, we got Oliver Dig, we got Laurel and Future Team Arrow there, Me and then we got Dino, Renee, and Roy coming to the island. But then they get shot down because uh, by some ghosts from the uh, from the past, which I'm not saying just yet. But they hear a very tragic landing, and uh, Rene is uh, got very bad damage, and he's basically looking like what he does look like in the future. Uh, nothing happened to Rene uh, Dinah, but Roy, his hand or his arm was crushed, and he, I think he he wasn't paralyzed, but he was severely damaged. So the other, the other problem was that it also contained the plutonium. So Oliver. Um, Laurel went out to go get a plutonium. Meanwhile, uh, Laurel, um, Dig and Harbinger and Hawk went off to go get uh, the t uh, the other members. So um, Oliver goes with Laurel, and they was able to retrieve the plutonium. But sadly, they get attacked by um, some people from the past, which is um, I don't really comment what their name was. was but we've got the original Deathstroke, he, he attacks Laurel but gets defeated and um, the white guy, I don't know what his name was, but it, get, it, get, it came with an F I think it was, but basically Oliver was had to kill all of them, even though they weren't really there. So Oliver goes off to uh, goes try to really stop this once and for all. Meanwhile Laurel goes to uh, get the plutonium and back to William so that he can build the machine. So then Harmonger takes um, Renee back. After meeting up with them, and uh, uh, to, uh, finds Roy, and he tries to get this um, hump of metal off his arm, but sadly they can't really do it. So Hulk, uh, oh no, Connor uh, gets uh, gets a knife and just chops it off and amputates it. So all of them go back to the, um, to their base and also meet up with Laurel. Meanwhile, we've got Oliver who meets up with Yafate from season one. He was a Chinese guy, I think it was, and basically those two get trapped up in some nets. And Oliver is uh, more passionate than he was uh, when he when he first joined the island, and now he's determined to cut through rope which cannot really be cut by a knife. So your fate uh, uh, like burns the rope, and they uh, they how to escape. So then we get the M battle scene, and we got all the Team Arrow um, and your fate going against the original Deathstroke and his gang. Meanwhile, we got Williams trying to set up the uh, device. Are about to help um, stop the crisis, but then he realizes that the device can only be set off if someone touches it. If he, he thinks that is Oliver Queen and it doesn't work, so he gets Harbinger and it works, but she has to go through a portal, and that's pretty much where the episode ends off. We get um, um, William gives uh, Fierce Rock back to Roy, saying that it was the thing that found him, so he should have it, but Roy doesn't want it, he wants to keep it in the family. And this uh, whole scene with Oliver. Is so damn perfect. He um he says to William, "Oh um, I was glad that I was I was had to see the man you've grown up to be." Gives him a hug. Then got a perfect scene with um Dig and Oliver. This was just so perfect. And then he has the final um when he says goodbye to his dad um who's in the graves. And then and then he says goodbye to Mia. But then Harbinger turns up and. Uh, basically takes him away for the crisis and then the red skies turns up wow um wow just i'm looking forward to crisis now this is really pumped my blood going for it and i'm really looking forward to see where it does end up going uh bad things i'll just say it's just me 
So normally you read each episode of Arrow, she normally be happy and then when she finds out something that she doesn't like, she'll normally just uh, storms off. And yeah, she does it with this episode, so I wasn't really too I wasn't really too really fussed about it, but it really did put off the scent to that one. If she didn't if she wasn't in it, I think it would be a lot better. Uh good things, it was so emotional. Wow, oh and crisis. Wow, I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah. That's it for today, guys. If you lost one, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Good. Bye, yo. Bye.